Hey everyone, Andrew Stormer here, and welcome back to From the Depths with Philip. Hello. So, this is the Scout. This is the ship I've been working on for a few days. I did a time lapse of it, so here you go.
So the Scout, it's a really small, fast ship with a lot of firepower. So there's this main railgun here that Philip pretty much built himself, and then we just copied it onto the ship. And then there's a thousand damage per second laser. It's not as powerful as the laser on the prototype two, but it's a decent laser and it's way down here through this little part of the ship. Uh, you got two steam engines. This thing goes about 40 meters per second, which is awesome. It has the sub vehicle spawner or just the, you can spawn whatever vehicle you want. There's a couple of 50 cows. There's a 60 millimeter cannon on the front. This railgun, I love how it turned out, how it's integrated into the hull of the ship. So it's super sleek, but it actually is cut off right here when you turn it like that. It, it's so cool. And now <laughs> when you do turn it though, the entire ship kind of tips over a little bit. There's some detection stuff on the ship and here's the material and batteries because you need batteries and plenty of RTGs for a rail gun and a laser system. The ammo is way in the back here. So if someone does happen to explode it, the only thing it's gonna blow up are the propellers and the rudders. That's it, it won't damage anything else on the entire ship. This ship doesn't have hardly any armor because most of it is just one thick light alloy. Now up here, there's a lot of two thick light alloy in some places and same with the hole with the sloped blocks. Hello, Thunder. Thank you very much. It's very light on armor, but the laser and the rail gun are pretty dang long ranged. So it should be okay. And even then it is fast. So if it is getting shot at, it might be able to dodge it. It might be able to get out of there. And then the front of the ship, there's the rail gun and the front just has nothing in it, whatever. And that's about it for the ship. It's very nice for what it is because it is 67,000 material. That is dang cheap. I'm excited to see this thing in battles or something as a support ship or whatever because it's cheap and it hits very hard. So. Besides for that, since we last left off, Philip made a thing over there, and then we made this version of the rocket ship thing, the jet boat. Okay, it just flipped. Um, let's flip it right side up. So we sleek down the front, just have one angle. It looks so nice. It's like a bullet train. That's what I think of it as. Then oh, Philip yeah, just overkill on the hydrofoils on the bottom. We lowered it one block, so the entire bottom now has all the extra pieces on it. And I was looking at things, specifically the air intake on the front of the jet engine, and I realized there's a clearance efficiency. So the more clearance you have in front of the intake, the more efficient and stronger it is. And you so... found it was eight blocks in front yes. of the intake. And so yeah. the the yeah, big intake, I think the big intake, it only needs to be the middle block that has eight yes. blocks in front of it. But then yeah. all the air intake add-ons also need the eight blocks in front of it. So the crazy thing is, is what we did at first was we took the original one that I did at the end of last episode and it, we deleted blocks to give it the eight blocks in front of the air intake, and it made more power and took less fuel per second by having less blocks on it, <laughs> just by having more room in front of the intake. So that's absolutely crazy. And then we did whatever the heck we did to this thing. I don't even know what all we did. And this thing now makes over six hundred thousand thrust i think the last one was like three or four hundred thousand thrust and it uses less fuel per second than the last one which is absolutely crazy so we are going to take this thing out for a spin to see it's absolutely insanity of speed but then also philip made this 
jet boat thing, which you can see it's kind of an evolution of this one with the bullet train look, the very sleek front. This thing is pretty. I love the cockpit on it. It's so cool. Oh, oh you deleted the back rudder. I guess you didn't really yeah, need it. Yeah, because that was um, that was what caused it to go flying into space. Oh, um, okay. Yeah. So originally, I had this thing as an actual airplane. It had giant wings going around the entire thing. I have four elevators and then oh, two wow. of the turning ones. The two and rudders. Yeah, that did not work out very well. Multiple times, I would go into space and I would just get stuck there. Like, I would literally slow down to a stop, and I couldn't get back down. Now it's a skimmer. This thing, it makes almost 400,000 thrust, and because of Philip's mastery and craziness, he made it use only 200 fuel a second. So that's yep. that's pretty dang cool. Max power so, for max efficiency. So basically, it's the same thrust as my vehicle last time, pretty much, and it uses half the fuel. That's yeah. awesome. So this thing, it's it doesn't work the best, but yeah, it kind of works turn very well. Yeah, it's so too top heavy. So um, let's skip. Here we go. Oh my! Oh geez. Uh, we sunk. Uh, we sunk it. It's tipping. Oh no. Uh oh. No. It's not working. No. Crap. no. Yeah, so uh, what? Oh, what? Oh, <laughs> I saw like 600 meters a second. Um, I am supremely confused. Yeah, yeah. So, so as you can see, this thing didn't work as a plane, and it didn't work as a skimmer. It goes fast enough that just upon impact, it utterly implodes on itself. Yeah, he did it yesterday. It was so <laughs> funny. One second, there was a skimmer was rocket a plane thing and there. there. The next blocks. second, it was gone. There were just yeah. a couple pieces and a big explosion. The ship w did not exist. We're not talking yeah. just some pieces fell off. We're talking the entire thing, thing gone. Well, um, it just hit the ocean floor and oh. exploded. Ah, oh, There's fun. a single block left. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I left at the wrong second. It goes about two, there's 224, 225. So this thing, it's a little bit faster than the other one. And now it's getting pushed back in because we are way out of the world. My gosh. Dude, this thing is fighting the pushing out of the world. That's oh, yeah. insane. Holy cow. It's fighting it so much, you can actually go out of the world. The Scout's really cool because the propellers are only the three meter propellers with the, the medium engines in here. But somehow they are so fast. Like, I guess it's the mix between the drag, like the ship has hardly any drag and the steam engines are so good that it's so fast. Like you can see it gets up to 40 meters per second. Shooting idea. the fortress, like boom. One shot from the idea. rail gun. I All that so stuff. Yeah, yeah, let's shoot the prototype up. But look, the laser. Oh my goodness, A lag. Maybe this is something we need to fix at some point is it tipping because when you angle the railgun over, the whole ship kind of tips a bit. But boom, this laser, it can shred through some armor with a few hits, and the, the railgun is getting through multiple pieces of prototype armor. Yeah. Now, if it was going up against the prototype, this thing would be gone in like 10 seconds. But... <laughs> It can do some damage to it. So, Philip, you did some changes to the prototype, right? Yes. So, do you want to explain what you did? I changed the big gun to fire 500 me uh, millimeter projectiles instead of the 333 before. I made the railgun even bigger. 
The projectiles no longer have any gun casings on them. They are literally just pure projectiles. A base bleeder, solid warheads all the way to the very end, and at the very end they have a hollow point head. So they deal thump damage. So this is what these rounds now do. Oh, it's amazing! At a decent fire rate, too, so, um... Dude, that never gets old. He showed me this yesterday, and, oh man, it is beautiful. Like, well, look at that. Two shots, one, and you could destroy any important piece. The one shot literally took your whole nose off of the scout. Yeah. And now it's sinking. Oh, it is such it a good gun. gun. Yep, it's gone. Yeah, Beautiful. So, um, Bravo! Bravo! Very, very strong. The prototype. Uh, I am happy. Holy cow. I That's can't insane. Wait to put that gun into the tournament. Same with the front guns. Yeah. Uh, they will shred most competition. We'll be having some new projects coming up now that the scout's done. And I think we're going to test out some different types of vehicles. Like, I kind of want to make a sub. Phillip's thinking about messing with planes and ground vehicles, so we'll be I looking into that. Mech. Oh yeah, the mechs. Mech. Yeah, I'm that down for a mech. Be, that's gonna be the most complicated thing I have ever done. And the reason for that is to use or make proper walker legs, you need a ton of of spin blocks, which means you need mm. a ton of automated control blocks Oof. and PIDs and things of that sort. That sounds so, confusing. Yeah, it's going to get messy very, very fast. So if um, anyone has built mechs in From the Depths before, let us know some tips in the comments below. So if you like this one, share with a friend, and if you want to see more like this, hit subscribe. So thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.